These instructions are designed for use by trained professional only. Untrained persons should never attempt to diagnose, modify, or repair home heating equipment. To perform this operation, you will need the following. A combustion analyzer, a flathead screwdriver, a 2mm Allen wrench, and a copy of the installation and operations manual of the boiler you are testing. If the manual is not available with the boiler, you can view the manual online at www.usboiler.net. First, locate and remove the screw cap accessing the test port in the vent adapter. Be sure to replace this cap when combustion testing is completed. Then, insert the probe from the combustion analyzer into the test port. Next, check the oxygen reading at high fire. The boiler may be temporarily locked into high fire as follows. From the home screen, press Adjust and press Adjust again. Press Login. Press the box containing 000. Enter the password 86 and press the return arrow and press Save. Press Adjust. Press Manual Control. Then press High to complete the process. Refer to the acceptable combustion readings table inside the installation and operations manual of the boiler you are servicing for the proper oxygen reading. If the oxygen level is not within the specified range, an adjustment to the gas valve throttle may be necessary. To increase the oxygen level, turn the gas valve throttle clockwise. To reduce the oxygen level, turn the gas valve throttle screw counterclockwise. Make adjustments in increments of 1 8 and 1 quarter turns. After one adjustment of the gas valve throttle, allow the combustion to stabilize for at least one minute before rechecking the oxygen reading. If the level is still not within the specified range, repeat the adjustment procedure. Final reading should be taken with all doors and covers in place. Next, check the oxygen reading at low fire. The boiler may be temporarily locked into low fire as follows. From the home screen, press Adjust and press Adjust again. Press Login. Press the box containing 000. Enter the password 86 and press the return arrow to and press Save and press Adjust and press Manual Control. Then press Low to complete the process. Refer to the acceptable combustion readings table inside the installation and operations manual of the boiler you are servicing for the proper oxygen reading. If the oxygen level is not within the specified range, an adjustment to offset regulator may be necessary. To increase the oxygen level, turn the offset regulator counterclockwise. To reduce the oxygen level, turn the offset regulator clockwise. Make adjustments in increments of 1 8 and 1 quarter turns. After one adjustment of the offset regulator, allow the combustion to stabilize for at least one minute before rechecking oxygen reading. If the level is still not within the specified range, repeat the adjustment procedure. Final reading should be taken with all doors and covers in place. Important! The low fire oxygen reading should be equal to or slightly greater than the high fire oxygen reading. Once all testing is completed, return the boiler to automatic modulation by pressing Auto Fire on the touchscreen display. Note, if the Auto Fire button is not pressed, the boiler will remain in manual fire for 10 minutes. After that time, the boiler will automatically return to full modulation. This instructional video has been provided by US Boiler Company as an educational reference for our installing contractors and boiler service professionals. Be on the lookout for additional instructional videos in this series. Thanks for watching.